high Jordan. Um, Jordan. Tell them where you go to school. Where you went I go to Spanish River High School. Um, you went. And <laughs> I went, I graduated <laughs> last week. Um, and I was on the green bus with Lori. Um, she was my bus captain. And Julia was actually on my bus, too. Um, Poland was definitely a lot. Um, it's definitely very hard. And there's definitely some places that might not exactly hit you. Like, in a sense where you might not be sad, you just might find it very interesting, and that's not, a, that's not a bad thing. It's okay if that happens. It happened to, I think, all of us. But there are going to be moments where you're going to see things, and it's, you know, you're going to break down, and, you know, that's okay. You shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't feel, like, ashamed of breaking down in front of people you may not know. And having, having said that, you know, I felt... Um, there were moments when I would break down and there were so many people that I haven't even met yet on the trip that were so comforting and it's something so special to have these people that you don't exactly know but you have the same, you know, you have the same identity and you become so close with them just without even talking to them. It's really special. And then uh, Israel was a good time. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a, mostly, mostly a lot of happy things. There are um, two, I'd say, sad moments in Israel. One being uh, visiting Mount Herzl. The other being the night of Yom Hazikaron, obviously um, remembering all the fallen soldiers and uh, civilians. Um, but the impact, is, it's definitely had a huge impact on me. I mean, it's only been two weeks since I got home, but... Um, you know, I didn't really wear, you know, I, I never wore religious symbol growing up uh, for my bar mitzvah. I just got like a chain, a plain chain. I didn't get like a Jewish star or a chai or any of that. Um, and then Israel actually bought a scroll with the Shema on it. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, and now every morning I actually wake up and say the Shema. Um, it's something we did on the trip, um, part of morning services. Obviously, you're going to say the Shema. It's part of morning prayers. Um, so, you know, you're going to take away a lot from this trip, and, you know, I really advise you guys to definitely go on it. It's definitely worth missing two weeks of school for. <laughs>